What if your city could think? Tracking traffic, adjusting streetlights, predicting emergencies, and learning your habits. Welcome to the world of smart cities. Using artificial intelligence, sensors, and massive real-time data systems, cities around the world are quietly upgrading the way they operate. From your daily commute to how garbage is collected, decisions are increasingly made by algorithms, fast, invisible, and constant. Smart cities promise cleaner streets, safer roads, and more efficient services. But few people realize just how deeply AI is already embedded in daily urban life. You don't need to look far into the future. Smart technology is already at work in parking meters, energy grids, and surveillance networks. This silent shift is reshaping the way we live, without most of us ever noticing. And the most important question isn't when it started, but who's really in control? Behind every smart city is an invisible nervous system. Thousands of sensors collecting real-time data. These devices track temperature, movement, noise, pollution, traffic flow, and energy usage. Streetlights dim automatically when no one is around. Trash bins alert sanitation crews when they're full. AI analyzes these constant signals to make split-second decisions that once required human oversight. At the center of it all is the AI brain, processing data faster than any city worker ever could. These systems don't sleep or pause. They manage electricity demand, redirect traffic to avoid jams, and predict where maintenance is needed before a breakdown occurs. In theory, this creates a city that responds to citizens without them asking. But the more data a city collects, the more powerful and potentially intrusive its digital infrastructure becomes. This isn't theoretical. Cities around the world have already embraced smart technology. In Singapore, traffic lights adapt to real-time vehicle flow and sensors monitor rainfall to prevent floods. Barcelona uses a smart irrigation system that adjust watering based on soil moisture, saving millions of gallons of water. These aren't gimmicks, they're redefining urban efficiency. Toronto piloted a smart neighborhood with responsive lighting, automated waste systems, and self-healing sidewalks. In New York City, AI-powered cameras help detect gunshots before 911 is even called, while subway stations use digital counters to monitor crowd flow. From traffic to safety, these upgrades are already improving how cities function. But as the technology advances, the line between public service and private surveillance continues to blur, raising important questions we'll explore next. Smart cities offer a powerful promise to make urban life safer, cleaner, and more efficient. AI can predict traffic jams and adjust routes in real time reducing fuel waste and emissions. Emergency services use predictive analytics to deploy faster, sometimes before a 911 call is made. Smart grids balance energy demand, reducing blackouts and integrating renewable sources like solar and wind. Cities with these tools are also more resilient to climate change. Sensors monitor air quality and adjust ventilation in public buildings. AI forecasts flooding risks helping evacuate areas in advance. Even streetlights can adapt to pedestrian presence, cutting down unnecessary power use. These aren't just upgrades. They represent a shift towards cities that think, respond, and conserve. But the same tools that keep us safe can also watch us closely. And that's where things get complicated. With every smart feature comes a hidden cost, your data. The same cameras that help reduce crime can also track faces, scan license plates, and log your movements without consent. Smartphone apps tied into city systems can monitor your location, habits, and behavior patterns in real time. In the name of safety and efficiency, privacy quietly slips away. Some cities now monitor foot traffic, energy use, and noise levels on specific streets 
But who decides what's tracked and why? While many systems are anonymous, others aren't. AI tools can link data to your identity, opening the door to constant surveillance. What was once public space may now function like a monitored network where every action is recorded. The more helpful these tools become, the easier it is to forget we're being watched. Smart cities don't just run on code, they run on contracts. Many of the systems shaping public life are developed by private companies, not elected governments. From facial recognition to predictive policing, decisions are often made in boardrooms, not city halls. That raises a critical question. Who really governs the digital infrastructure of our lives? When companies control the software and store the data, public accountability becomes murky. Can citizens audit algorithms? Can they opt out? And if a city relies on a tech company's platform, what happens if that company changes policy or shuts down? The line between innovation and control is thin, and power in smart cities doesn't always belong to the public. As digital tools grow more powerful, so does the need for transparency and ethical oversight. What happens when the smart city goes dark? In 2022, a ransomware attack shut down city services in Atlanta for days. In another case, a bug in an AI traffic system caused massive gridlock across several neighborhoods. These aren't science fiction scenarios, they're warnings. As cities become more connected, they also become more vulnerable. AI systems can fail, misinterpret data, or be manipulated. A simple glitch in facial recognition software could misidentify a person and trigger a false alert. Worse, cyber criminals target smart infrastructure for control, ransom, or chaos. When everything is connected, a single breach can ripple across power, transit, and emergency networks. The smarter our cities become, the more critical it is to plan for what happens when the systems break or fall into the wrong hands. The smart city is no longer a dream. It's a blueprint under construction. Around the world, governments, engineers, and citizens are shaping the next generation of urban life. These cities will be cleaner, faster, and more responsive than anything we've known. But how they evolve depends on the choices we make today. Technology alone can't define progress. Only people can. Will we build cities that serve the public good or ones that quietly monitor our every move? Will we demand transparency or trade privacy for convenience? As AI weaves itself into the foundations of modern life, we face a pivotal moment. The smart city is coming. But smart leadership, smart ethics, and smart choices must come with it. The future isn't just being programmed, it's being built, one decision at a time, 